We are over by the entrance to Hurricane Harbor now. You can see one of the footers already poured. It's hard to see, but Viper's close for the season, so I can't go in that queue. Alrighty, so we have a construction update for Max Force from Six Flags Great America. It is delayed, and that is my fault. I am so sorry. I didn't know what to do with the video. Um, one of my influencers was so generous, went out and recorded a vlog of the construction, but it had copyrighted music in the background. So like top 40s Christmas music. So I had to delete the audio. I'm gonna record over it. Um, and we're gonna figure out what to do moving forward if I'm just gonna have to do the audio for the construction updates because Six Flags is blasting Christmas music so loud that um, you can pick it up. Anyways, let's get right on topic. So as you can see, a lot of rebar cages are there and in formation um, to prepare for the footings for Max Force. Um, a lot of track has arrived and by a, lot, by a lot, I mean a good like four to six pieces now and the support columns have actually started to arrive. So in the last update, it was like these little air canisters. Now support columns have actually arrived. Here you can actually see the footing caps. Um, you can see them in every update so far. They are still there um, and ready to be placed. There are footings being formed on the construction site. So that's a good sign. Um, there are a good amount of footings that have been formed. I have a feeling this weekend there'll be even more. Um, and who knows? I have a feeling there'll be some uh, decent amount of track photos coming out this weekend. Uh, so just stay tuned on Instagram. Uh, everyone will be posting those because I think everyone's eyes are on Max Force. Uh, Max Force is definitely up there in the top coasters for 2019. Um, and it's finally nice to see construction going on before the park shuts down for the season. I believe this is a seasonal park, so I think it does shut down after Christmas. Um, but here you can see a footing. So there's a footing right there with the, the kind of like iron or steel around it. Um, and then you can see markings for other things. Um, not too much going on. There's a crane. Again, that's a formed and poured footing. So that's exciting. I don't know if that's the first one or the only one. Um, or if there's a couple in this area, it's hard to see because Viper is apparently closed um, for the season now, so you can't get um, some of those good angles. Um, but as you can see, oh, it looks like there are other footings poured, and uh, lots of water main and electrical work is going to go on. It seems whenever they build a coaster nowadays, I've noticed with Copperhead, Yukon, and now Max Source as well, uh, they do a lot of water main construction for coasters. I do think those are actually drill bits, though, for the most. Those are drill bits. Okay, so I was mistaken. I thought those were water main pipes, but those are drill bits. So those are what dig the, um, help dig the footings uh, for a coaster. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick update on Max Force. There'll be another one this weekend, hopefully. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.